This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, another hello there. It's Jacob Dumb and welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe on this day. And on this day, April 8th, in the year 2012, one of the greatest shots of all time was made in a playoff. Few will argue that Bubba Watson's fantastic shot from the the fescue on the second playoff hole was just sublime and all that. So it was huge. So it's the 2012 Masters Championship. And the 18 holes, tea all the pink dogwood, flowering peach, flowering crabapple, magnolia, juniper, pampas, yellow jasmine, carolina cherry, camellia, white dogwood, golden bell, azalea, chinese fir, fire thorn, red bud, nandina, and holly. We're trying to show the world how big they are and all that. Lots of golfers would be challenging things. This was the first Masters for Keegan Bradley, Patrick Cantley, Kevin Chappell, Webb Simpson, Kyle Stanley, which were huge. So there were big absences. Marco Mira was injured and couldn't compete. Ernie Els and Retief Goosen were not ranked high enough and couldn't even make it. So anyway, because those streaks were huge. Omira had been to the last 27 major Masters. Ellis participated in the last 18, and Goosen in the last 12, which was shocking. Those three guys could not get in. So, of course, to get in, you had to be pretty much a past Masters champion. The last five U.S. Open champions were added in. The last five British Open champions. The last five PGA champions. last three winners of the Players' Championship. The top two 2011 amateurs. The winner of the 2011 Amateur Championship, the winner of the Asian Amateur, winner of the U.S. Amateur Public Links, winner of the U.S. Am Mid Amateur, top 16 in ties and Masters, um, top eight finishers and ties in the 2011 U.S. Open, top four finishers and ties in the 2011 British Open. Well, Dustin Johnson couldn't compete because of back injury. Top four finishers in the top in 2011 PGA Championship. And the top 30 in the money list, winners of PGA Tour events, all first qualified for the Tour Champion. You get it. So there were a lot of golfers. So Bubba Watson did not have a good start. Well, yeah, 300 par. So he was tied. He was in top 10. Two shots back of Lee Westwood of England. Peter Hansen of Sweden and South Africa's Louis Oosthuizen would get the would get the things in the top three, too. So Bubba Watson was tied with many others at 300 par. After round two, Bubba shot a 71, one under par. He was only one back of Fred Couples and Jason Duffner, the legend of Fred Couples, eh? So, anyway. Only three amateurs, Matt Hedek, Matsuyama, Patrick Henley, and Kelly Craft qualified for the final round. So, anyway. The third round saw Sweden's Peter Hansen shoot a 65 to take the lead at 9 under par. Phil Mickelson was second at 8 under par. Luis Usais in third at 7 under, and Bubba Watson fourth at 6 under par. Now, Usais was looking good. And, of course, when I talk about master shots, I'll talk about Usais. But, anyhow. So it's down to the final round. Oosthuizen, but this was the round that Oosthuizen, I thought it was 2011, but this was the round that Oosthuizen on the par 5 11 shot a, got a shocking 2 on the par 5 that the ball rolled and somehow it rolled right into the hole and the slope hit it right in there. Sorry, it was the second. I thought it was the 11th, but anyway, I'm hole number two. It was amazing. David Faraday's call was huge. Double eagle, Albertos, whatever you call it. It's a good shot. Louis Hazen made the fourth double eagle, or Albertos, or minus three. If you score three under par around a hole, it's a double eagle slash Albertos, depending on what part of the world you're from. If you get two under par, that's an eagle. 
So anyway, the 54 whole liter Peter Hansen just couldn't get it going. He fell from contention. Phil Mickelson couldn't do anything either. So it was down to Ustason, Watson, and Matt Kuchar. Kuchar eagled to tie, but bogey down the famous par 3 16th and didn't do so well. Bubba made another birdie. He was tied with Ustason. They were paired. They were playing together in the second last pairing. They both part 17 and then were green in regulation. Luce Tayson missed a 35 foot putt and Watson missed a 25 foot putt. Both of them to win the Masters, but they missed. It would be a sudden death playoff. So the top 10, well, it was Luce Tayson and Bubba Watson. Luce Tayson had a 68, 72, 69, 69, and Watson was 69, 71, 70, 68 to get to the playoff. Hanson, Kucher, Mickelson, and Lee Westwood all tied for third at 800 par. Ian Poulter finished seventh at 500 par and a three-way tie for eighth with Patrick Harrington, Justin Rose, and Adam Scott. So Watson and Ernest Hazen would go. So the first hole was the sudden death par 4, 18. Both hit the fairway in green. Bruce Hazen had an 18-foot putt and he missed. Watson had a chance at from 16 feet, but they missed. Both of them tapped in. We go to the 10th hole for the second playoff hole. Poor pl both players hit poor drives to the right. Luce Hazen's second shot ended up short of the green. Watson would have to play through the pine straw deep in the woods. So through the pine straw, he made a fantastic move. He's left-handed like Mickelson and Weir. And, however, he raised a hook the approach shot 90 degrees to within 10 feet of the hole. So, from the pine straw, he made that famous shot that you see the picture of, if you see the picture. Boost Hazen chipped to the back of the green, missed the par putt, meaning Watson had two putts. He missed the first putt, but, you know, he could tap in and wins it. And Jim Dance's call in 2012 was huge. There's another Watson. There's a Watson who wins the mass, who won the Masters, and his name is Bubba. So Bubba Watson wins the Masters over Lucius Hazen. So that was a great tournament. I mean, you see, you hear about Lucius Hazen's albatross and all that. Everyone remembers the war of Gene Saracen's albatross in 1935. Getting a two on the 15th, if I'm sure me right, which helped to win the tournament. I forgot who else won, had double eagles, but it doesn't matter. But of course, Bubba's shot from the pine straw was huge. You know, remember Phil Mickelson's shot that was behind a tree and he managed to hook it and have a decent eagle putt? Do you remember? Jack Nicholas and his shot making ability on the back nine in 1986. Do you remember Tiger Woods with that famous chip shot in 2005 that I missed because I was buying milk for my brother? And of course, let's not forget the Larry Mize chip in in 1987 in a playoff with Greg Norman that it somehow went in. It says, words do not do justice to the value of that shot. So yeah, master shots are work. fantastic. You have great master moments, but shot making is also important too. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond Duke.